Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit. Welcome back to some more Evolve PC Closed Beta gameplay. This time I'm going to be using the Wraith. We're actually still on the same map as was in the last video. It just so happened that I got two really beast gameplays on the same map with two different monster classes. So the Wraith is the third tier monster and it was available in the beta to players who had pre-ordered the game. Obviously when the full game comes out this monster is going to be available to everyone and I believe you'll be able to unlock it in the same way that you unlock the Kraken after playing the Goliath for a little while. So the Wraith is the sort of assassin type class in Evolve. It's sort of the, the fast paced, low health, weaker monster with high burst damage and lots of escape mechanics as well which has made it a highlight of the beta I would say <laughs> um, because it's a, a lot of frustrated people are trying to catch up to the Wraith because it's so fast and trying to actually hit the Wraith is actually really hard because it moves so fast and can do these crazy teleport abilities. I had a lot of comments about it and how the Wraith has been OP and Turtle Rock Studios, the developers of Evolve, have actually taken this into consideration and have announced that there have been some nerfs for the Wraith as the game is about to launch. So in their private testing probably the, the Wraith didn't seem so OP to them but once you obviously throw things like this into the public you can get lots of different opinions. There's one ability of the Wraith called the Decoy which basically makes your monster turn invisible and invisibility. An invisible monster is a, a pretty OP monster so what this does is it makes your monster go invisible and it also spawns another Wraith which is a decoy and if you shoot it it will die eventually but it flashes white to show that it's a sort of decoy every time you shoot it so you know it's a fake but you could basically spam it a lot and people are just using this all the time to constantly evade the hunters. You'll see me use it here when they catch up on me and the enemy trapper thought it was the real me so she used the dome shield on that decoy and pretty much that's her dome down for the next bit so I can easily run across the rest of the map with no fear of them trapping me at all and hopefully go for a safe evolve. You pretty much with the wraith because it's really weak at stage one. Look at that health bar at the top right now, only four bars and like half of that in armor size so it's, it's got a really low amount of health which means if you do get caught early on you're going to have to play a little bit of hide and seek inside the dome area to just try and not lose as much health as possible and it's pretty easy to, to run away as a wraith because unlike the goliath his leap ability means that you leap onto other surfaces whereas with the wraith you pretty much this dash allows you to basically dash upwards into the sky as well which means you can travel really easily over other obstacles that are going to be in your way and even float forwards a little bit before you land back on the ground whereas the goliath is just straight pouncing from one piece of ground to the next piece of ground it's not got as much mobility as the wraith does in that sense so yes the decoy has been nerfed by having the cooldown of it increased it takes longer before you can actually use that ability again and also they nerfed the, the cloaking so before when you were cloaked if you used a melee attack which i didn't actually know until i read about these changes to the wraith if you use a melee attack while cloaked you become uncloaked, much like in Crisis, and much like when you shoot while cloaked in Titanfall as well. But also in the beta you could dash, like do the, the leap or dash ability, which uses stamina. You could use that while you were cloaked. They've changed that now, so anytime you dash you become uncloaked. So the Wraith has had a little bit of tweaks, but it's still, I had a lot of fun playing the Wraith. I didn't find it particularly OP because, well, I did lose a few games with the Wraith, which a lot of people seem to think, oh, I'm undefeated with the Wraith, it's so easy, it's so OP, but I actually managed to lose some games with the Wraith. I definitely kind of prefer the Wraith to the to the other ones. I would like Wraith to be my favourite character because I'm all about the fast paced classes and the, the assassin stuff. I would kind of like the Wraith to be my favourite one, although out of the three so far, the Goliath, Kraken and the Wraith, I've had the most success with the Kraken. I didn't actually lose a single game with the Kraken and I do have some Kraken gameplay saved as well, which I want to show you. Probably be uploading them hopefully before the game comes out as well. But pretty much at this point in the fight, I've done a really good job here at Stage 2. Stage 2 Wraith is around about the time you're always going to be winning. I've actually gotten to Stage 3 with the Wraith and lost games simply because they just defend the power really. And defending the power really from the Wraith is easier than trying to knock it down in health as the game progresses. At Stage 2, that's where you can drop 3 extra points of your class into... Well, in this gameplay I dropped two into Supernova and the final point into Warp Blast. Supernova is that glowing white ability that does a hell of a lot of damage and makes your attack speed really fast and really covers a large area. So dropping three points into that stage two is really helping you out in team fights and allows you to wipe characters, groups of characters, clusters of characters really quickly as well. I just really like the Warp Blast, I think that's uh, a pretty cool ability, especially at stage one for moving around the map and killing off creatures. 
There's one ability I didn't use in this gameplay, which is Abduction. I never really had much success with that in the beta. Turns out they've actually buffed that ability for the full game because they felt that people weren't using it so much. So what that does is it's a really long range teleport, which grabs a player and then teleports you back to where you started with that player in your grasp so that you can pretty much split them off from the group and kill them, which is a nice ability and hopefully get to use that more in the full game as well. So that's the Wraith guys, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay there. A little bit more Evolve hype to tide people over until the full game release. Actually cannot wait guys, it's just ah, so much waiting. Thanks for watching guys and see you in my next one, bye bye.